In this video, I'm going to be installing the motors and the chains, the electronic speed controllers, the sprockets, some new wheels, and the brakes. So I'm going to use this plate to mount the motor onto. Let's start cutting it. I resize the chains on both the motors. I'm gonna mark out the holes that I'm gonna drill out now. The chain is nice and firm. I think it's I think it's pretty good tightness. I like the way it turned out. Now it's just this one. The motors are mounted on. I have the chains and the sprockets firmly put on, so they're really good. Now the next thing I do is I gotta cut out a panel for the front area. I'm gonna use this big piece of wood right here. It cost me about 17 bucks from Menards. I'm gonna cut this out, and we're gonna use that as the floor panels for the go for the go kart. Let's see how well this thing fits in here. All right, beautiful fit. Luckily, I do have one little spot that I can squeeze these ESCs into. I'm gonna cut out a little board that fits in here, and then I'll bolt these down upside down to the wooden floorboard. The brains of the go-kart, the ESC, the electronic speed controller, is all mounted on. I have it screwed on there and right there. Same place on that one. But yep, these are nice and tight and ready to go. So what this foot pedal does is that this controls this side of the wheel. And then the second foot pedal will control this side of the wheel. And now I'll show you how I built these. this foot pedal turned out. It's great. It's a lot more comfortable than my last go-kart. The last crucial thing I need to do is just install the brakes. I feel a lot better with this welded on so I can just tighten it down and it tightens around the entire axle rather than just two screws holding it in place. I feel a lot better with this on. Now that I have the brake caliber and everything else in place, the next step is to put on the brake pedal. Here is the brake 
cable and it goes through the floorboard onto this side. And then right here, I made my own little brace to hold the brake cable. So all I do is just slide it right in. And then right here, I have a similar brace to hold this down, like that. I'm gonna push on the foot pedal and show you how it works. If you guys are wondering, I'm using a one inch diameter axle for the back. And for the two front steering wheels, this is five eighths diameter. The next video, I will be showing you how to connect all the wires and connect the batteries to the ESCs. And hopefully I think that should be the last thing for this go-kart. And then I can finally take it outside. See you in the next video and have a good one.